I'm going to show you how to find some free online resources for use in Clicker 6 in your special needs classroom. Uh, I have opened here the landing page as soon as I've opened Clicker 6 by double clicking on it from my desktop and to go to the online resources I need to go across to files then go down to free resources, make sure that you are connected to the internet and it will just take a while to establish that connection. And this is the free online site where Cricksoft, the makers of Clicker, have put lessons created by teachers and staff um, up and available for anyone in the world to use. All right, I have a couple of options here now, depending on what I'm hoping to do. I can just browse through some of the some of the categories and find something that I'm looking at doing. Numeracy, music, personal education. Um, I also have the options up here of filtering by age group. I can also sign up for the free newsletter if I want to and get some updates in the future. Um, this is not compulsory. But let's say now I'm looking to do an activity around telling the time, especially looking at an analog clock compared to a digital clock. I'm just going to type in the keyword time and say search. It might take a little while for it to filter through all the different activities, but here it's brought up some activities that have that uh, keyword in. Now I want to make sure that my activity is not too advanced for my learners, so I'm going to bring this age group back down, let's say to eight years old, wait for that to refresh, and now I'm going to have a little bit closer. That's not really what I want to do, maybe that one, um, let's see, um, label the clocks, that looks quite interesting. Let's hover our mouse over it and then go to view. You can read a little bit about it. If I'm happy, I can say run now and it will download. And here it is. If this was made by a teacher, Clicker would give that teacher credit and say who the resource was made by. So when you get to the to the level where you're making your own resources and sending them into Clicker, they will give you the credit for making those. I can press on info here and see what it is telling me to do. It looks pretty simple. I'm gonna say start. Um, under each clock, when I click on that, I need to select the correct answer. That looks like 10 o'clock. Cool, it filled it in. Let's see what happens if I, tr if I get it wrong. Ooh, so this one doesn't correct you. Just be aware of that. Always test your resources before you start using them in class. And if you get some more advanced level in Clicker, we'll show you how you can even edit these resources by clicking on the Edit Clicker Set um, icon. You can um, go ahead and start uh, fiddling around and trying to edit. If you ever uh, get stuck, you can always just exit. But for now, maybe keep out of the edits until you feel quite confident. Make sure if you like this resource, this clicker set that you've downloaded, if you don't want that to disappear and have to download it again, you go to clicker set, save clicker set, or save clicker set as and then find a place, either this is your shared files, or in your computer, your desktop, or your My Documents, to save that. And if you, um, if you know that you're going to use it very often, you can go Clicker Set, Favorites, Add Current Clicker Set to Favorites. And then you know without a doubt you'll be able to find it in the future.